something. All the bees are dying. Oh, no, no bees. Our individual lives and the world as a whole would be very different without the existence of bees. One substantial contributing factor that allows our earth and its environment to forever keep flourishing is determined by the bees. This insect is mostly known for their production of honey, but also for their role as one of our main pollinators. Over the years, it has been researched that there has been massive declines in the bee population worldwide. The problem humans and the environment are facing are due to two health threats of the bees. These are known as the varroa mite, a blood-sucking parasite that transmits viruses into the bees, and the other is a colony collapse disorder, which is when the bees are exposed to pesticides. Our community project, Sweet Spot, will not only benefit our Australian bees, but will help assist in keeping a healthy and flourishing environment to sustain and provide for our local community and then to hopefully contribute on a global scale. Our aim with Sweet Spot is to build a large hive on campus so that the Australian bees are given enough room and plants to pollinate. We plan on having days that allow the students at the university to cease harvesting the honey and setting up stalls to sell the honey and the products that we have made. The products will go towards keeping the hive alive on campus and creating tools for education for the Newcastle community. These educational resources are almost as important as the hive itself, as we will create awareness about the importance of native bees and the European honeybees that pollinate most of the plants in Australia. They will also focus on colony collapse disorder and the varroa mite that threaten bees across the world but have not yet reached Australia. As time goes on and interest increases, we will run courses where students can learn how to harvest their own honey and how to create their own hives, similar to urban hum. In order to complete the project, the group has followed a strict process that has allowed maximum community awareness. This process consisted of a basic project plan that was planned out before commencement of the project. The first stage of our process was to decide upon a leader who would initiate the direction of our project. Through collaboration, our team decided to aim to promote urban hum in the local Newcastle University. This resulted in segmenting the project into areas in which each group member will investigate. Each member in their designated area of the investigation proposed an idea that we would implement. The group then collaborated their investigations, concluding with an outcome. Thus, the final project would involve creating a beehive on campus, lessons on harvesting honey, bee-friendly gardens, and finally, stores that sell honey. In this project, we were looking to collaborate with local Newcastle apiarist, Urban Hum. Through this collaboration, Urban Hum will provide us with a starter pack and the education required to establish and maintain these hives. With the support of Urban Hum, we will harvest our community hives for the natural honey, which will be sold within market stores located on the campus. All revenue raised will fund the continuation of this project to ensure the sustainability of these community hives and survival of the honeybees. The first thing we should take is to evaluate the project as a whole. As a team, we should assess the project to ensure that all our desired outcomes will be achieved. Once we have established an effective hive on Callahan campus, our next step will be to further expand to Newcastle University's Orenba, Sydney, Port Macquarie, and Singapore campuses, and then perhaps reach out to other universities to join in and host hives on their campus. We can then expand into schools with education and hosting programs because children are the key to the future. Therefore, we hope that through universities' recognition and involvement, the bee cries will become an issue that way as a community will begin to address and expand support for to the point where the majority of households keep hives in their own backyards. It's our dream that one day 
every person in the world will be recognize the importance of the bee preservation and contribute to their protection in some way. This